Welcome to this edition of The Roadie Reporter. I'll be your host for the segment, Mark Zakaria. When your erudite roadie reporter was in primary school, way, way back when, it was always considered a big advantage when one of the kids had a big brother. A big brother could take care of you. He could get you advanced information on sports or the adult world. The idea of a big brother didn't go sour until high school when George Orwell's book, 1984, was on the reading list. Orwell's was a dark vision of a totalitarian regime that fed on its population rather than serving them. Big Brother was the all-seeing eye of that fictitious regime. It was the name that became synonymous with governmental invasion of privacy. Traditional Big Brothers everywhere suffered as the term took on its current meaning. It has been said that Rhode Island is gradually adopting governmental processes that make it feel like Big Brother is watching today. God-given rights and constitutional rights are like truth and beauty to many here in the ocean state. Everyone says they're in favor of these amorphous good things, but few stop to think about what they mean or even notice when they start to slip away. Are citizens followed by government every day here in the ocean state? Everyone has a social security card, and that number functions more and more like a national ID as more and more state and federal forms are keyed to it. Now there's talk of a COVID vaccination passport. In fact, when you get your first shot, you'll get a separate shot record, which will be updated when you get your second. What will you do if you have to flash that completed card to board an airplane? Our state government is perennially out of money. <laughs> Rather than slow down the spending, the electeds panic to find new sources of revenue. Today, there's serious talk of creating a statewide network of speed cameras. Ostensibly, they'd be installed to make driving safer <laughs> by issuing speeding tickets at a bodacious rate. What if these cameras were taking pictures not intended for speed enforcement? Would you feel you were being followed, you know, just in case you did something bad? If we really do eliminate fossil fuels, what's to replace the revenue from today's gasoline tax? Most pundits assume there'll be a tax per mile assessed to every vehicle of any kind still on the road. That means GPS monitoring of every trip you make to the 7-Eleven. Are you good with that? Brown University recently acknowledged that it has one surveillance camera for every nine students. If that net of CCTV is expanded out to the whole state, as it has been today in the UK, how do you feel about having your every move in a database? Well, Big Tech already stores all of your keystrokes and NSA has all of your phone calls. Feeling claustrophobic yet? It seems we need a national conversation on the boundaries of individual freedom. Once a consensus is reached, we will also have to ensure that it is followed by Big Brother. Tracking everything is so easy these days. As in Orwell's fiction, it is also too easy for the hardworking, taxpaying women and men of Rhode Island to just roll over and take it.